science in a nutshell. Science. Sorry, I'm not doing silly voices anymore. Those days are over. Let's get on with the essential knowledge, current and charge. So, current is defined as the rate of flow of charge. In plain English, current is how fast charge is moving around the circuit. Okay, so I equals Q over T. Q is the symbol we use for charge. Charge is measured in coulombs, and one coulomb is defined as the amount of charge that flows past a point in a circuit when a current of one amp flows for one second. That's how the scientists defined it. They didn't know what charge was back in the day, and it wasn't until 1897 that the J.J. Thompson discovered the electrons they actually worked out that it was actually electrons <laughs> moving around the wires in a circuit. So. We've got two versions of the equation, I equals Q over T, which gets across the idea that it's rate of flow of charge, that's what I like, but the exam boards give it you as Q equals I times T. Watch out for those nasty evil exam tricks, so current, they might try and trick you by giving you in milliamps or microamps, time of course has to be in seconds, but they may give you minutes or hours, so watch out for those little trick conversions you have to do before using the formula. By the way, the boffing task at the bottom, um, that's how many electrons are in one column of charge. The answer is 6.25 times 10 to the power of 18 electrons. That's a heck of a lot of electrons in one coulomb. So what's the magic triangle going to look like? Well, um, we've got Q equals I times T, so if the times are together, that's what we see on the bottom of the magic triangle. Get that in your brain. They do like to give questions featuring this equation Next. in the exams. Here's a couple of examples for you to try. Okay, press pause, have a go. I'm assuming you've pressed pause. I don't want to waste any more of my time. So here we go. There's the answer. Dead simple. Okay, lovely simple equation to use. Learn it. Example two. Again, press pause, if you like. If you don't like, here's the answer. Okay, nice and simple. Don't forget, AMPS, capital A. Right, here's a slightly more difficult one for you chaps doing the higher paper on combined science or GCSE physics. Press pause. You should probably press pause. Or you're probably just staring at the screen, not really thinking. There we go. There's the answer. To three significant figures. Watch out for that. They like to do that in these modern exams nowadays. Right, here's some questions for you to practice using that equation. Now, uh, these are fairly easy ones that you might find on a foundation paper. Okay, the one at the bottom is more of a higher paper. Anyway, I'm going to be quiet now and let you get on. If you do get on. Press pause. I'm assuming you've done that if you're interested. If you're not, here we go. Here's the answers, okay? So watch out for the tricks. That's straightforward. That's easy peasy. Um, here, oh, little trick there with the minutes. Uh, question for that's easy as well. And oh, the boffing task. Let's have a look at that. It's milliamps, okay? Milliamps is 10 to the minus 3. Milli is a thousandth of an amp. Next. Okay, next, some slightly more difficult questions. Okay, have a go. I'll have to make a cup of tea. I'll be back in a minute. Press pause. Here's the answers. Again, pretty straightforward to start with. There's another milliamps one, hey? The little tinkers. And question four trick there with a the minute so turn it into seconds of course uh, that's easy peasy but rearranging for time this time and oh the number six is nasty look at that funny u thing is microamps and that n n n n is for nano which is 10 to the minus nine nano technology 10 to the minus nine n got it okay that'll do i'm off bye a big finish science in a nutshell Thank you.